This is a continuation of section 2.1, probability basics. And in this part of the video, we are going to talk about uh, probability and its definition. Well, according to the dictionary, the probability is the likelihood of something happening or being the case. In other words, probability is the quantification of the likelihood of an event of course. For example, we are going to write P of A as the probability of event A. And um, P of A is the portion of times that the event A will occur in a long run of experiments. The simple case will be flip a coin. When you flip a coin, if it's a standard coin, you will have equally probability of getting a head or getting a tail. So we write that the probability of getting a head is equal to one half and the probability of getting a tail is equal to one half. So assuming that there are the only two options, so the total sum of probabilities, it will be one half plus one half equal to one. Now, if the sample space S has n equally likely outcomes and that receive a particular name, random, so when the, um, they are equally likely, and if A is an event that contains k possible outcomes, then the probability of A is going to be given by the radio of k divided by n. So for example, in the experiment of rolling a die, we have six different outcomes. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six. So each one is um, equally likely. So if we define an event A like <coughs> the even number, getting an even number, so A equal to 1, 3, 5. So we have three elements which are equally likely. Then the probability of A is equal to 3 times 1 over 6, which is equal to 0 0.5. Let's consider now the case in which we are flipping a coin twice. So in that case, we have our coins and we have two possibilities. We either have head or we either have tail. And each one is very equally likely, so the probability is one half and one half. Then we flip the coin again. So we have, for the second case, two possible outcomes each time, head and tail. And in this case, the probability of for the second one is one half and one half. But the same case, when we get the tail in the first case, to the second case, we can have head or tail. So in each one of the cases, we are going to have one half and one half probability. So the sample space, it will be head, 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 tail, tail head and tail tail so we have one two three four elements so the probability of each one of those is going to be equally likely so one fourth one fourth one fourth and one fourth another way of seeing this result is that we move in one of the branches and we multiply the probabilities we have one four one half multiplied by one half so that's going to be equal to one four and if we keep moving in any of the branches we obtain the same result like for example the last one one half multiplied by one half equal to one four Okay, let's have a look to the axioms of uh, the probability. 
So let S be the sample space. So we have uh, the probability of the sample space is equal to one. Of course, if uh, we if our sample is uh, if the event is equal to the sample, the probability is going to be equal to one. It not it cannot be bigger than one. Now the probability of the empty space is going to be equal to zero. And in general, for a given event, the probability of A is going to be a number in between 0 and 1. <coughs> now, if A and B are mutually exclusive, remember we have, this is our space, sample space, we have A and B mutually exclusive. So the probability of the union, the probability of A union B of having either element of A or element of B is going to be equal to the probability of A plus the probability of B. If we have more than one um, um, event that is uh, disjoint, so we could keep adding the probabilities. But if they are not uh, mutually exclusive, so if we have an intersection, so then in that case the probability of A plus B is going to be equal to the probability of A plus the probability of B minus the probability of the intersection A intersection B. Let's consider the example that we have before with the three bulldozers. So we have bulldozer one, two, and three, and the probability of each bulldozer is operational in a given day is uh, one fifty percent. So it is either working or not working. So that probability is one half and one half each time. So remember our uh, sample space is going to have how many elements? So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So the sample space n is equal to eight. So as each one is like uh, equally likely, so the probability of one outcome is equal to one over eight. One way to look is again looking to any of the branches and multiplying the probabilities. So we have one half, one half, and one half. So that's going to be one four multi multiplied by one half is equal to one over eight. And any other one that we take is going to be one half, one half, one half, equal to one over eight. So as we have eight different ones, so the total probability of the sample space is equal to one. The probability of S is equal to one. Let's have a look at a different example. So for the same case, we have event A, B1 works and event B, B2 works. So I already highlight event A are these cases in orange and event B are the cases in green. So we can see here that we have uh, some intersection in between A and B. So let's have a look to the probabilities. For event A, we have four possible outcomes one two three four so therefore the probability of a is equal to one eighth which is the probability of one outcome multiplied by four so that's one half now event b has also four possible outcomes so therefore the probability of b is the same one eighth multiplied by four which is equal to one half now let's have a look at the probability of the intersection. So the intersection has 
choose possible outcomes. So therefore, the probability of the intersection is equal to 1 8 multiplied by 2, which is 1 half, 1 fourth. The probability of the union, if we look into the union, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 elements. So it's going to be given by 1 8 multiplied by 6, that's the number of possible outcomes. So we can compute it in a different way. We just can say the probability of A union B, which we can also write A plus B, is equal to the probability of A plus the probability of B minus the probability of the intersection of A with B. So we have the probability of A is one half plus the probability of B, which is one half, minus the probability of the intersection, which is one fourth. So in total we have three fourths, or 0 0.75.